Hi guys and thanks for tuning into this video. I hope that you're enjoying the channel so far because right now I am actually loving it even though I'm a part of it. I still watch everyone else's tutorials and everyone else's videos because I find it so interesting. This video in particular is going to be about basic essentials when it comes to doing um, gyaru looks. Now I'm going to cover a range of things from what I know so that would be um, makeup and other necessities. My bed is a mess, my room is a mess, please pay no attention because I've been very 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 stressed. So let's get started. When it comes to makeup and when it comes to gyaru, I think you should have a lot of makeup in order to build and in order to practice so that you can get everything right. Now there are a load of essentials that you really really need. So the first thing that you'll probably need is blush. You need blush. Any kind of blush is fine to start off with. When you do gyaru and when you put on like a wig and when you put on circle lenses, you'll find that the amount of blush that you put on beforehand, if you don't wear them, you need to put on more so that the drama will be able to match everything else. Experiment with blushes to see which one goes with your skin tone. If you don't have this, but you do have a palette like this, then you could always use your kabuki brush and then swipe it and then and then apply it. So you can always use eyeshadows first if you don't have any blush, but I definitely suggest getting some blush uh, to get you started. Another thing that you'll definitely, definitely, which you must, 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 must have is liquid eyeliner. You need to have liquid eyeliner, preferably black. I, I suggest black. You can use it uh, on the top and bottom of your eyes. You really need it for like the bold dramatic lines. They are so good for doing a gyaru eye because gyaru eyes are supposed to be dramatic. Even if it's not like, so if you're doing like on a gyaru and, and the line at the top isn't supposed to be very, very dramatic and it's supposed to be subtle, you can still use, use liquid eyeliner. You can just put black eyeshadow over the top to smoke it out if you really want. But there are different types of liquid eyeliners that you can get. I went shopping on Monday in town and there was this one which was quite odd. It has fibres on the end instead of a uh, tip, which is really weird and I tried it out today for the first time and I absolutely love it because the strokes that you can get is just phenomenal. Another must have would be pencil eyeliner. I have black and I have brown. I thought that this was black when I purchased it but then I saw that it actually has a dark brown lid instead of a black one. Bit disappointed but hey, I can try a brown one. This would be good for maybe outlining the top line and then going over it with liquid eyeliner or you can use it on the lash line and then smoke it out. Mascara is also a must have. You need to have mascara. This one is the Maybelline Falsies. If you saw the last tutorial then I used this because it was absolutely fantastic. It's the best mascara that I've used so far. But any sort of mascara will do. Obviously black. When doing this look you need to experiment a lot and you need to know what suits your complexion and what suits your skin tone whether you're the same colour as me or if you're lighter or if you're darker. So when it comes to lip glosses you really have to experiment. Uh, so different colours. And I'm trying to experiment with all of them. I even have like purple and gold ones but I really doubt that they'd go oops, that they'd go with this. I am currently infatuated with this one which I bought in town on Monday. It's a Calvin Klein uh, delicious pout flavoured lip gloss and it's absolutely lush. I have it on now and it gives you, gives your lips a subtle hint but it makes them really pouty and really pretty and it's absolutely awesome. If you can, buy this. I love it. When it comes to eyeshadows, you really have to know what ones suit your skin tone and you have to know which ones suit your complexion, just like lip glosses. I think you just need uh, neutral eyeshadows. I got this for £15 on eBay. If I find a link, then I'll put it in the description box below so that you can um, purchase it or have a look at it or whatever. A neutral palette like this is perfect for anyone because of all of the different colours and all of the different tones which will definitely go with your look. And I've been using this one for contouring and that one for highlighting because it's almost gone, both of them. However, when I went to town on Monday, I recently purchased a Revlon Color Stay um, 12 hour eyeshadow in Coffee Bean. I've used all four colours today to experiment when I went to town because I went to town again today. And these are the four colours and I'm absolutely in love with it. It's basically like highlighter, face eyeshadow, outer corner and outer crease. You could do the lower um, lash line as well. And I actually love this. This is perfect for beginner gyaros who just want to try out different browns and to see what matches their skin tone. I have no idea how much it actually is in shops or on eBay because I bought this at a store that sells brand cosmetics. Very, 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 very cheap. Now, who can forget one of the most important, important accessories for 
any gyaru, which is fake lashes. You need fake lashes. You have so many to choose from and it's actually crazy. Experiment, experiment, experiment. Get eyelashes, you need them. Upper lashes and lower lashes. At the moment, I still don't have lower lashes because I can't really buy anything lately. What I do instead is I just smoke out the lower lash line just to give the eye a balance. I don't really recommend you wearing upper lashes for lower lashes, but if you wanna practice, then I say go for it. Another thing that is vital, foundation, to get that really flawless look. And you also need concealer, and if you want, or if you use liquid foundation, then use powder afterwards. But I don't even use that much foundation. I just put it underneath my eyes and on my eyes. My skin has been really bad lately. It has been cleaning up, cleaned up, clean. It has been cleaned up. I think that is the majority of what you really need. So that's it for the makeup. But remember, you can be as creative as you can with this look. But just remember to follow the guidelines. Another thing that you'll probably need is a wig. I bought this. Oh my god, it looks like I'm not wearing anything underneath this. Don't worry, look, I'm wearing a top. I bought this for, I think it was either seven or eight pounds on eBay. I'll post a link in the description box below so you can have a look. This is the first natural wig I've had. I'm actually glad how it turned out. It's wavy, but I can still do stuff with it. This is also a kind of hit and miss when it comes to colours because of obviously everyone's complexion and how it's different. But I think I chose the right one for my complexion. Silk lenses is also, I think, personally, I think it's a must. In magazines, there are people who don't have circle lenses in for like um, advertisements, but most of the time, the models do wear circle lenses. Circle lenses would be a very good place to start when it comes to Gyaru makeup. I would suggest stuff with nails, but I know nothing <laughs> about nails, so I'll let someone else do that. All I've been using, because I purchased it, the Calvin Klein, just a clear li uh, lip gloss? Yeah, this is a lip gloss. A clear nail varnish. I have read somewhere that if you don't have nails or if you don't have any colourful nail varnishes then purchase a clear one. If your nails look well taken care of it's still good isn't it? So those are all the makeup essentials that I can think of so far. I'm probably missing something like vitally vitally important and I'm not sure what it could be. Just remember that with this style you could be creative as possible and there are so many different styles to suit each person and I think that you should really go for it. So I'm sorry that this isn't really an informative fun video. Also please remember to check my blog and to check my Facebook page and if you'd like check my photography page and they'll all be down there so thank you very much. So I'm gonna go now. Uh, thank you for watching. You'll see me in two weeks time. <laughs> Bye guys.